DJ audits you are. How do you know that? So watch your channel. Really? Do you know what? That's made my day. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to have a look at Keyham Lane Police Station in Leicester. Police authorised vehicles only. We're not in a vehicle are we? So let's go and have a look at this sign here. Main reception, visitors parking and disabled parking. What the hell have they got uh, shoes on the floor like that? What's that bit of metal? Surely that's not a sign. Oh, it is as well. It's one of those police authorised vehicles only signs. That's disgusting. Got my hand all muddy now. Right, back to it. So we'd like to have a look inside here, see if they've got enough grit. Jesus, people are using it as a litter bin. But yeah, there's plenty of salt in there. Just not got a shovel. All vehicles are parked at owner's risk. Blah, blah, blah. Right, is there any vehicles with dodgy number plates? No, not in that bit. It's unusual to see double red lines on private property. They used to be yellow, look, underneath. But red means uh, you're not even allowed to stop, I believe. I'll put it up on the screen, the difference between double red and double yellow for those that want to know. So have we got any illegal number plates? That's my first check. No, nope, they look okay. Nice and clean Leicestershire police van there. 21 plate. They've got one of their phone things in there, but maybe that's fixed. I'm not too sure about that one. All the number plates around this area look okay. But what do we have here, look? What are these double red lines being used for when vehicles are just parking like this? And they have got a parking permit. So it is somebody that should know better. There's loads of spaces. Maybe there weren't enough spaces when they parked there, but you're making a big statement about double red lines and then you go and park there. And look at the number plate. 999. They have to do it, don't they? Please get me a personalised number plate that says 999 on. It will mean a lot to me. Yeah, it looks like parking's quite uh, hard around here, look, because they're even parking on the grass, making a right mess. Looks like it's been freshly tarmacked recently as well. Official vehicles only. Automatic gates are in operation. It's good how they do that, look, petrol only, just in case you uh, put the wrong fuel in. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, you've heard of it, have you? I watch them all the time, mate, yeah. Right, okay. Do you want me to ID myself, usual form? Uh, I don't normally go that extreme, to be honest. I'm quite a polite one. DJ audits you are. How do you know that? So watch your channel. Really? Do you know what? That's made my you, day. the one where you went to Scuff in Loughborough. Loughborough, yeah. He was a nice guy, weren't he? He did Pirelli recently, so watch that one. That was only two days ago. I watch them all the time, mate. Oh, that's really good to hear. Definitely. Oh, thank you for that. But yeah, as you know then, as you know, I'm quite polite, I'm looking at good yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're quite within your reason, public access, section 33. I don't even bother saying it anymore, it no. just sounds ridiculous. But do you know how you've got double red lines? Yes. And there is a police vehicle. It's a private road, this road is a private road. So who enforces double reds? Uh, internally. So nobody then? Well, the police. There, so, are, there are advisory notices that go out, because obviously parking at this particular police station, um, can be somewhat busy. Yeah, um, I've noticed. All sorts of advisory emails that go out about people parking 
um, on the double reds and are advised to move the vehicle. So say for example on a Tesco car park and they put markings on the road, let's say double yellows or double reds, the yeah. police can never do anything no, about people, it's private land, but, but it's... Tesco can employ people to do something to yeah, enforce and they it. they have done, certainly over at um, Hamilton. They have had, usually around Christmas time when it gets really, really busy, they have had um, private contractors enforcing notices and right. for parking and whatever. Just say, for example, then your car park was full and you had to park on these double reds. Yeah. Surely you wouldn't enforce it on yourself. No. Um, there are local agreements with local businesses, whereas if there are restricted car parking spaces, we, are, we have elsewhere to park. But obviously that site. that wasn't taken into account when that uh, black Nissan Qashqai is parked on them right now. No. So for, for in his case, let's just put it in his case, yeah, he had to park there because there was nowhere else. He's never at risk of getting it enforced, any penalty at all, is there? No. So really, the, the double reds... It's are, more because this is a main thoroughfare for emergency vehicles leaving yeah. at speed. Um, and obviously, if it's weather like this where it's quite foggy, it runs the risk of... Yeah causing an unnecessary accident. It, it, it's like to sway you not to park there that the most severe warning please don't park here but in extreme circumstances you have to but maybe it's just there for public maybe it's there like oh I, I want to go nearby I better not park on the police grounds because they've got that but no I mean we do, we do get several issues because obviously at the back of this police station you've got the gateway college yeah yeah and so maybe it's for them really you get, you get a lot of overspill you get but you get a lot of people parking on yeah. those double reds when they're picking people up if you come on a on a sort of day when the families are picking um, yeah. the kids up it makes sense it's absolute mayhem but yeah it's just been freshly tarmacked as well it looks really nice it's recently been done there's a lot of building work going on at the present but yeah uh, well i'll stay out the way of any vehicles that are coming by i've just have a quick look. i like to look at the number plates because some of them are found they've they've not got the correct spacing in the middle you know these number plates yeah, right there's, there's on on most number plates now and don't quote me because i'm a bit of a dinosaur i don't know about all the new legislation but i think it's bs 154 d d yeah and e yeah and they have to have the manufacturer of the yeah. plate that's been that's been law for some yeah some years and they take his glass off because it's steaming up and what i found is some police vehicles they've not got the correct space in they've not got the british standard and they've not got the manufacturer so it's just things like that it makes interesting viewing when oh, yeah, the, saw, the police saw, are there saw the visit to loughborough where you spoke to oh do you know it turns out that 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 might be an import an american import and there's some very rare rules about number plates where don't that quite me on traffic I've got no, no 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 I'm not <laughs> so yeah so yeah I don't I don't want to be wasting any more of your time are you a DC are you I am yes yeah you I thought so if you, want to you may as well just say because yeah, people will love you DC Martin Sneed 572 Snood Sneath S-N-E-A-T-H I'm right. based here in uh, CID at Kiel. well it's a pleasure meeting you Martin I, I, I can't believe you watched the videos I look forward to uh, seeing this on YouTube you then. certainly will mate thank you very much have a good day you too all the best oh what a nice guy so yeah these vehicles are perfectly fine. It's quite a nice uh, nice area to be honest. Oh yeah, we'll check the salt bin. Make sure there's some in there. Oh look, that's empty. So if you're watching Martin, just get that topped up for me just in case uh, this area gets slippy. I wouldn't want any uh, emergency vehicles responding to a call that I've made and they have an accident in this area as they're taking a, a corner at speed. And to be honest, you need to stop people from parking underneath this tree as well because as they exit they're bringing mud onto your tarmac making it very slippy look doesn't look very good does it you wouldn't want uh, mud being around this area too much especially with an empty grip bin over there you're not coming over to see me are you I'm staying out of the way of uh, any emergency vehicles that may be exiting. Yeah, we're, we're not very good drivers sometimes. <laughs> Do you know the salt bin? Yeah. The yellow salt bin, it's empty. Okay. Needs topping up. Yeah. Especially how you've got the fast vehicles coming out on the corner. Well, we're, we have a, I mean, you can see the grip down there. Yeah. So but someone comes out and does it anyway. Yeah, so it's, it's empty at the minute. On the next visit, it needs to be uh, filled. Okay. Um, this area here, yeah. when people park here, yeah. it's bringing a lot of slippery mud onto your new tarmac. Not ideal, is it? It's not ideal. There's lots of things in the world that are not <laughs> ideal. And also, what do you think of the uh, Nissan Qashqai there parking on the double reds? The, the double reds? Yeah, the double red lines. Yeah. 
What do you reckon about people? Oh, it's on private property, it's not a public road. There you go, very good. It's more more for the visitors that are possibly wanting to dump their car somewhere. It's like a warning for them, isn't it? Um, I mean, the, the visitor car park is the top section there. Yeah, but... Yeah, that, that's all staff car park. This area will get quite full on busy times car parking wise, won't it? It, it will, yeah. Yeah. So if visitors then decide to come and just dump their car wherever they can, the reds are really for them, aren't they? Have you driven down, have you? My car is very close. Very close, yeah. You're not going to look for it, are you? No, no, it's cold out today. <laughs> I'm going to go back in and Yeah, I'm done up here anyway, Nick. I can't see any, uh, is it, what is it? Nick 2967, two nine, yeah. Seven. Oh, is it yeah. Mick or Nick? Nick. Nick, I've got it right. Yeah. But yeah, you are recording. You should let people know that you are recording. Okay. You know I that, don't you? Recording. I'm a member of the public. I don't need to tell you. Oh, right. But no, you do know it's it within your... I'm on police property. I know, but you know, once you approach any member of public, whether it be private property or public, right. you should tell them. Sure, you, come on, you do know that, don't you? <laughs> Police property. Well, you really think that makes a difference? I, I think so. Okay, well, you're wrong on that, but I won't make a big deal out of it, Nick, because you've been, you've been quite nice. You're not escorting me off, are you? No, no, I'm just walking down here. Okay. <laughs> uh, How long are you going to be? Not long, not long. There ain't much to see. I'm going to check the hours. Is it still open till 8pm? Um, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so there's quite a lot of staff shortages yeah well on google it says eight to late yeah and if i do find it's any different then i'll do i'll make a change on google for the local community okay but uh, yeah i can't find much that's wrong here nick no. that nissan cash car is not giving a good impression you know, while there's an empty space now if he's available to move that surely it does move it well, you're not assuming the gender of the driver are you um with it being a personalized number plate of a 999 Normally, males tend to do that. Oh, right, okay. Because well, they're sort of macho. I want to show that I'm a 999 response. I, I, I don't know the gender uh, of the uh, driver of that vehicle. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But luckily, I've not found any um, illegal number plates on any cars today. I, when I go to police stations, there's been quite a few where uh, the spacing's not correct, mm. the manufacturer of the plate isn't present, and the British standard's not present. So we're looking for the, just these sort of things mm. that may be a little bit wrong, mm. just to make interesting viewing. You know viewing. what you need to do? Because there's loads of wrong stuff going on down at Downing Street at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, you can't get qu quite close though, can you? No. no. But yeah, we, we have stood outside there before. Have you? Yeah. Police don't like it, but there's nothing you can do. You're in public, aren't you? That's it. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really want to be wasting anyone's time. Why have you got Nicholas Gasson's ID? Because that's me. Oh. <laughs> oh Nick, all right mate. I can't find fault with you at all, can I? Just tell people that you're filming. Body worn video guidance, it's called. Yeah. It says at the earliest opportunity, when there's a riot and stuff, you can't tell them. But at the earliest opportunity, just let the member of the public know that you are filming. Because you're you're a data handler and I'm a data subject yeah. and I've got a right to know that my uh, image is being captured. And then I can ask for your ID and your name so that I can do a subject access request for the footage. But I won't be doing it anyway. All right, Nick, have a good day, yeah? No all right, take care. That's interesting, look. Video surveillance cameras are in operation on this site. They certainly are. From yourselves and from myself. They're not slowing down, wondering what I'm doing, are they? Come on, surely. They've got better things to be doing. Go on, keep driving, keep driving. Keep driving, go on. Will we be seeing them again later? I don't know. Hello. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. So they do have the defibrillator, the yellow phone, but the, the notice board isn't being used. And that's a shame because a lot of people go past this most of the time they're being used to help the community out with some uh, useful information a nice useful map in the lobby you don't normally get that it's quite a detailed one as well
even a public payphone. You don't tend to see those in uh, police station front desk areas much. There's no knife amnesty box there. There's not a knife amnesty box in this one, is there? Um, there is a knife amnesty box. Yeah, we bring it through if required. Right. So that the public would have to ask for it, do they? Well, if the public came and said they wanted us to hand the knife in, we'd be able to take the knife and put it in the knife amnesty bin. In, most of the time, though, they're not very comfortable with actually... It's supposed to be amnesty. It's supposed to be no communication, just nice and relaxed and no pressure. Is there a reason why it's not on, out in the public? There's no reason. Because normally we find that they're out in public and they've got a chain on them to secure them, so there's no risk for yourself. There's, there's nowhere for us at the moment to store it because we need to keep it locked. At the moment, it's out there. Okay, you might find that... We need, we need, we need them to come and empty because it's too full to put out because somebody could reach in and take a knife out. But if that's why it's around the back, we need to be empty. So it's that full? Yeah. Wow, I've never seen one that full before. Yeah. Could I please just check, um, is this place open till 8 until 8? Yes. Yeah. And on Saturday, is it 8 until 6? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Is it closed on Sunday? Yeah. Okay. The hours are correct on Google. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. I notice you've got um, masks for people to use. Is there a hand sanitizer? Is that? Yeah. Right, lovely, lovely. And do you know the, the toilet? Is the door open? Yeah. Okay, I just want to see if the disabled pull cord reaches to the floor. All right. Right, okay. Well, that's no big deal, is it? That's, that's a bit less intrusive than it, yeah. when you're hiding and putting a knife in the box. You can understand my point, though, don't you? If, if people come in here and they're looking around to where to just put this knife, they're not really going to want to admit to it. Right, okay. I'm not going to ask to see the disabled toilet then because it's in there, but has it got a pull cord? Yeah, yeah. Does it reach... There's the emergency thing there for it. Does it reach all the way to the floor? Yeah. Thank you very much for your assistance. Thank you. Bye. So there we have it. The only thing around this area then that I can see is that notice board that isn't being utilised. But apart from that, all good. A little bit of litter down here, but you know, a member of the public has just come out and thrown that down recently, I would have thought, but quite tidy. Really, really tidy. So I'll take my mask off now and the last, last bit of the car park to check for those number plates and then we'll call this one a day. Look at that, a 999 again, look. They just can't help it, can they? That's the most common personalised number plate in a police car park, that's for sure. So yeah, all the number plates are perfectly fine. So that's it from this one. So if you've enjoyed that, please press the thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one guys. From Keom Lane Police Station in Leicester. Bye bye for now.